my name is Devika Mahavir. I'm 24 years old. I have graduated from Harfo and I'm a participant of the CODETS Bootcamp 2020. So in this bootcamp, I learned a lot, starting with project management. In project management, I learned how to do my documentation online and locally used in GitLab using GitHub Desktop. I also learned video production. In video production, I learned how to edit my videos in Adobe Premiere Pro using a green screen and how to edit my videos using effects. And then comes embedded programming. Here I learned how to use the Arduino Uno kit with all kinds of components to build a circuit physically and um, in Tinkercad. Also programming the basics in Arduino IDE software and how to code the project. And then I learned how to make my own business model canvas a tool uh, for my final project, including my customers, value proposition, route to the market, and finance. And then comes uh, electronics production and design, where I worked with two softwares, KiCad and FlatCam. KiCad, how to uh, do your schematic design for your electronic circuit. I designed my own electronic circuit and used FlatCam to prepare CNC jobs for making PCBs on a CNC router. Take the generated Gerber file and create G code to CNC my board and then I soldered it. Drawing is my hobby, so computer aided design and 3D printing were my favorite. I learned to 3D design with Tinker using Tinkercad. Um, Tinkercad is a web-based uh, 3D modeling program. There were also two other software I used, Fusion 360 and OpenSCAD. OpenSCAD is to create solid 3D objects. After designing, I export my STL file to Cura, which is a 3D printing software for your printer. I used two different 3D printers, the Predator and the uh, and a cubic for Max Pro, I set the params based on which material I used and printed it out. Then I learned interface and application programming where I used a Raspberry Pi to install Node.js and Python and I also learned about the Linux basic commands. I also learned how to control things using Socket.io and Raspberry Pi GPIO and build a circuit and how to control to turn a LED on and off. How to make our own website and edit our website using uh, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. For the group assignment, I participated first in Hackomation and created with my group uh, an hydro power plant to charge phones. For my second group assignment, I participated in the Caribbean Girls 3D Virtual Hackathon. <coughs> and my team name was Fusion Girls. We won the second place, so the best thing was working in teams. We chose the theme Blue Economy, Save Our Oceans, and created GearTrax. GearTrax is a gear tracking and monitoring system which includes flutters and an app. GearTrax provides users to monitor the state and position of the fishing gear. For my final project, I made Scleraya. So tech, now everything works with modern technology and we want our house, our houses to be smart. Why knock the door if you just simply can ring the bell or even when you're lazy to look who's at the gate? A ring at the door may inflame a sense of expectation, hazard, etc. So um, just ring the bell, get notified and steam. Scleraya is an affordable video doorbell with web-based Applets. The components I used are an ESP32 cam, a LED, a push button, a buzzer, and a 3.7 voltage battery, also a FTDI cable to program. The ESP32 cam contains Wi-Fi, camera, face recognition, and face detection. For the web-based applets, I used EFTTT, if this then that, which is a web-based uh, service to create chains of 
simple statements called applets. Applications are Gmail. You get a mail when the button is pressed with the IP address and you can stream. The other application I used is Android device. You'll get a message or there will play a specific song when the button is pressed. The circuit diagram for this smart video doorbell is very simple. Just connect the LED buzzer and push button to the USB 32 cam GPIO pins. The buzzer is used to make a sound whenever the button is pressed and the LED is used to indicate the network status. Network LED will be in a high state when the ESP is connected to the network or else it will blink. For the digital manufacturing, I designed my enclosure in Tinkercad, exported in Cura and printed it out with a 3D printer. My target customers would be homeowners and security servers. So my experience during this project, my paints were my first and second enclosure were completely a failure, but the third time I got it right. I'll be showing a demo of my final project. Here's the camera, the buzzer, the push button, and the LED. The LED is now high because the network is connected. When I start then now it's it started steaming <laughs> and you can also put this on your wall. I would like to thank my uh, coaches Julie Sundar and Theo Boomsma and also the VS University for sponsoring us. Thank you.